bought a car coffee machine, a baby carrier, ice skates, <laughs> plates and cups, power tools, party stuff. I think this is for crepe. Stuff like this. We even got two unicycles. This shop is called Laila, which in Germany is short for Leihladen, which means borrow shop, a library of things. In order to become a member, you have to be willing to share. So each member has to bring an item of their own to this shop, and that's their membership fee. Let's see what size fits. Yeah, yeah, there is here. Today I would like to have a helmet for my child because I'm getting a children's seat for the for the bike. Man sollte den zum Aufsetzen. You come, you borrow things. It's noted down in a folder. We agree a time, how long will you keep it, when do you bring it back? It's a great idea because I have so many things at home that I don't need and I would love to, get, to bring them and get something that I need in return. The only financial aspect we have is the rent for the rooms. It's all voluntary, but a lot of our members are quite willing to give two or three euros a month. So it's mainly about people. And because there's no real contract, all we have is trust. We trust people, they trust us to take care of their things when they bring them here. So it's a matter of, of personal interaction. We had a sort of precursor which is called Geschenke Box, where you just put things, gifted things, and anybody could come and take stuff out and put stuff in. So this is a kind of follow-on from that. If we try to meet our human needs, together we get off a lot more sustainable than without it. Some people say, oh, this is socialist what you're doing, but I wouldn't say so because um, at least it's not GDR type socialism because people do it out of free will. They can leave any time they want and nobody gets observed by any Stasi, so no, it's not socialism. It's just common sense. They have ice skates and inline skates and my daughter could try before we buy them. So I think it's cool, yeah. The power tools get borrowed all the time. There's a statistic saying that over a lifetime of a power drill, it's used for 13 minutes. People are very glad if they don't have to buy them. I probably make a cake once a year. It's coming and just getting a mixer for the day. It's, it's genius. I would love to see this in places like Chicago. For us, this is open source. We'd love people to copy this. We had very few cases where we um, democratically decide, okay, this person will not be allowed to borrow anything else before they bring back what they have. If things get lost, we can stay calm, just say, okay, it will come again. You have your cold, hopefully just for a few weeks, inflatable boats, you can put your children in there. The unicycles, you have to be a bit daring to borrow, but yes, they do get borrowed. 